Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Resort Boss Golf. This is going to be part two of, um, of our little mini preview series of the game. I felt there was a bit too much in there to see, just a first look, uh, but this was never going to be sort of like a massively long series. So uh, we're going to go in basically with a bit of feedback from episode one, to be honest. We should basically, oh that's nice, you just click go and you're there. Um, good stuff. Okay, so first things first. Uh, this first um, one here, people are saying it's still too wide, and uh, the fix for that is um, is basically we can't. Um, the actual what's on the ground doesn't matter so much. It's actually the size of the hole. Here, I'll show you what I mean. The size of the hole is what matters. And to be honest with you, that's how I live my life. Um, we're going to click edit. Right, so with this play space, here we go. That's the problem. We've got we've got some like little dots of play space stuck. So let's do that. There we go. And hopefully, hopefully, that should fix the problem of being too wide. That was most most definitely the problem. So let's just check the other holes while we're here. Hole two, edit. Um, let's remove some play space from here. Make it make it a bit trickier. I mean, you can play from like this here. None of that should be play space, should it? None of that there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, we'll click done. And then number three, uh, I think he's actually pretty good, to be honest. Let's just remove maybe those bits there. This number three, you want this to be a little bit tricky anyway. There we go. Um, also, a few of you who obviously are golfers or, or are a fan of you know golf games even, I don't know whether it's whether it's the actual sport or not, um, would give me some advice on actual lengths of stuff and stuff. So I'll try and take those in character, but to be honest with you, I'm probably just going to kind of come around do maybe two or three holes, just get like a little six hole um, thing there. Uh, the only other thing I uh, know that people pointed out to me is that the buildings actually you can do different roofs. Um, membership application. Journalist review, uh, it was a success, good. Nice. Um, we really want to get up to two stars here, I think, so we can build the membership, uh, oh no, that was right, hold on, sorry, new building. Um, yeah, we want to build a, a, a membership build, membership building that we can do here. So we've got hotel, we've got two hotels, we've got one restaurant. I think another restaurant then can maybe start up in this because not a million miles off two, not a million miles off two. So let's build a little restaurant uh, and also we can have a look at another feature that I didn't notice last time as well. So uh, uh, add building plot, let's go for I mean, the only problem is you're getting a little close there, which is my worry. What about we do something like this? Oh, it weird. The roof is just weird. But apparently, where it says roof, we can click here and we can click hit. Oh, that's more like it. And gabled. Oh, awesome. Well, I mean, we need to we need to remove what we've done here and, and build it properly but yes that's definitely I really want that to be the members area so let's have a restaurant over here that, that fits the that sort of services the hotels there we go oh there we go I mean the gable roof is a little messed up but the hit roof should be okay yeah good um we can do a bit of an overhang on it there we go that's much more in line with what you would expect isn't it uh, we'll keep the roof black we'll make the uh, the walls uh, red we'll do it like um a bit like art deco-y, I suppose. So, um, one of the biggest complaints I saw for most people regarding this was the art style. They weren't a fan of the art style. And a few people were saying, oh, we're done with this with this, uh, this kind of art style. Voxel art style is what this is. Um, personally, I'm not. I'm a big fan of voxel art style. I think the, only, I think the problem is here is they have, it hasn't quite found its voice yet. Um, so I think it just needs a bit of work to really kind of find... What, it, what what sort of its, its individual style is really, um, and I think when it does, it will be, um, it'll be pretty good. At the minute, yeah, it's a little, it's all a little placeholder. Let me go windows everywhere. Just gonna put them around. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, I don't um, 
Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily a bad art style. It's the main reason you see it a lot. Uh, oh, that was a success. Good. Hole two. Hole was too large. Felt too empty. It was a great experience. It wasn't a great experience. The body made it worse. Dismiss. Um, hole two was too large. Okay. Well, let's let's see if we can fix that then. Hold on there. Hole two. Edit. I mean, yeah. And there isn't really much else we can do there, really. Apart from maybe we could we could re rough little bits of it. Maybe make it a bit tricky that way. Maybe one fairway is enough for people, you know. I'm not it just seems a bit thin for me, but yeah, okay, that's what they're happy with. Hopefully that hotel will push us up to two stars. That means we can get a membership panel in, I think. Uh, whilst that's all happening, we're earning money. So let's start on hole number four. I was going to go for a fair old dog leg, to be honest. Um, maybe we start to come down here and then back up. I, like I say, we, we're, not, we're not building 18 holes. But yeah. Um, I, think, I think in the comments they said that a, so a par three would be about 200 yards. So let's go for a, a bit of a longer one. Let's go for a T there. Let's go for. I mean, I don't know what a real long hole is. Let's have a look. That's a par four. Okay, well that's fine then. Let's keep it like that. Uh, uh, oh, I oh. Right, let's go a little bit more adventurous this time then, eh? So height drag. Let's oh. Uh, okay. Left click to drag the height of the train. Click on the tool icon to increase the area of effect. Okay. Uh, oh right, all right. Okay, so let's let's go for some green. Let's get these the right way around this time. That can be the green. Uh, all right. Well, fairway coming up to it there then, and then. Another bit of fairway there. Some rough. I mean, this is just going to stay. Maybe not even three wide there. Maybe that's the whole point: is that it shouldn't even be. It shouldn't even be three wide. Well, oh, you got them the wrong way around again then. Okay, hazards. This is going to be a tough one. This. All right. So bunker. Oh. No, that's maybe a little too tough. There we go. Uh, bunker. Are we we can't. So we skins bunker. Why can't we do a bunker there? Will not let me put that in. Is that because that tree? Wow. It's not because that tree, is it? Yeah, it is because that tree. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, that's fine then. We'll leave that in. Uh, uh, and then I would like... A lake. There. And that lake is going to come right around here. Now, what's wrong with these odd little bits here? I just don't understand... Where it wants to do it, where it doesn't. So we'll get rid of all of that then, I suppose. Um, I still quite like that bit there, though. So you've got to either get it here, here. So you get a two. Yeah, I would say it's pretty good. That seems to me like an interesting hole. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Still no scenery and furniture unlocked. So maybe that's just not in this version of the game, I guess. Um... Let's go back to, uh, is it fur? No, where's the where's the uh, larger tree? Apologies if you can hear purring on the video, by the way. I have an Oreo on my lap. Oh, as I say that, he clears off. Go on then. 
Off he pops. Uh, okay, so I'm going to keep them all that way down here, really. Um, I mean, that's tricky, really. You've got to kind of get it here. Oh, it's going to be a tough... I reckon this is going to be a real tough one. Um, okay. Well, this it looks a bit interesting, and uh, the height, the height variation thing. I wasn't really sure how that's worked, but it looks like it has. Um, maybe after that one, we come around here to like a little, like a dog leg par three or something, and then a big old par five back up to the to the buildings here. And I'd say we're probably done. Um, loved hole two. There we go. Expansive and what? See, they loved it. Look. This hole is too large, felt empty. See, they can't, I mean, they can't make their minds up, can they? Some of them love it, some of them hate it. So, it is what it is, eh? It is what it is. And what it is, is a monkey. Um, there's a random reference for you there. Let's come down to here. Now, why can't you... There we go. So why can't you have that in? This, I'm actually going to have this come all the way down here. Oh, no. There we go. So there. Um, yeah, so, I mean, overall, I, I do think this is a bit early doors, this game, to be honest with you. But I, I do think it's got promise. And I don't really, I can't really tell you why I think that. I just feel like it does. Um, if it is something you feel like you'd enjoy... Um, or feel like you'd like to support, maybe. You can um, you can check out our Instant Gaming page, because they've got keys on there. I didn't realise they did, actually, when, uh, when I did episode one. But Instant Gaming has keys for it. So they, they do a pretty good price. I think it's about six, six pounds, something like that. And uh, and you support the channel a little bit as well when you pick it up. So if it is something you think you'd, you'd be interested in, you can go and check that out and... Helps us out, and you get a cheap game, and helps the developers out, and it's all good. Okay, how are we doing here? This is looking, this is looking all right. We can. I've just realised we're not sped up time a little, so let's speed up time a little. Okay, money's money's coming in there though, which is good. I feel like we could probably pay our loan back. At the moment, we have quite an extensive loan. Hole was too large, felt empty. It wasn't a great experience. The bogey made it worse. Okay, I mean, tough. I want to see somebody try and kick off from here. We've got bunkers and all sorts. This is going to be a tough... Now, oh, that was the other thing that somebody mentioned. I, d I did know... Um, sank at hole one, dismiss. Uh, loved hotel. Great. Dismiss. Dismiss. We'll keep all the... I felt the hole was a bit too wide. The hole was a bit too wide. Well, whatever. Construction Re request. Uh, what do they want? A new staff room. No. You have a staff room. I'm not building copious amounts of staff rooms just because you want them. Yeah, I'll tell you what we do need, though. We need to, some sort of path that will come up the side of now, up the side of here. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, yeah, camera did not get quick on itself sometimes. Yeah, it kind of sits under the trees. That's okay. There we go. Never played golf in my life, by the way. I played crazy golf lots of times. I've uh, been to a driving range a couple of times. Uh, dated a girl who worked at a golf club many years ago. But uh, never actually <laughs> played a round of golf. So I, my, my knowledge of golf courses is literally coming from... The limited, like, TV and films that's mentioned. It's Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore and Sid Meier's Sim Golf is basically my uh, my knowledge of golf. Is where it's coming from. Uh, yeah, sank three, fell to empty, dismiss. Uh, I mean, we can try and shrink them down a bit. People have stopped moaning about number one since we did it, so... Let's remove... 
I mean, I don't know where you can remove any more than that, really. I don't really understand whether or not... See, I th personally, I thought all this was... See, oh, we're in the wrong hole here. Said the actress of the bishop. Um, hole three, we want to edit. There we go. So really we can remove all of this, can we? I don't know. Is that how it works? We just have the green selected. Anyway, let's try playing one. You can play the game um, just from a top-down view, but if we click play... No, no, hold on. Par four, play. There we go. And I think we have to wait for our little dude to get over here. Oh, here we go. He's here. Let's slow the game down a bit. So I'm go I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit to get here. I mean, well, we could. Let's have a look. Let's do our let's see if our, what our driver does. No, see, our driver just ain't going to do it. So I'm thinking we kind of we come this way, side on, right? So let's go for that. We oh Christ, we that was horrific. All right, well, all right. <laughs> Little dude's got to come round. We can try and get it over to that green, but hmm. I wonder what made it not do so well there. There we go. There we go. At least we can get it up over here now. Oh, is it a hold down thing? Stroke seven. What if we have we are we stuck? So we're yeah, we're, yeah, we've done great, haven't we? Yeah, let's retire. Let's should we try it again. <laughs> um <laughs> oh, oh, play. Come on, little man. Get around there, let's have another go at that. Journalist visit, yeah, go on. Right. There we go. Better. We're on the green. Very little roll, I noticed. Very little roll. We kind of hit the ground and stopped. But I would say that again. We might as well just go full whack, anyway. Let's have a go over there. Yeah! Okay, a little short, but alright. I'll take it. So we can get on the green in three, I reckon. Is he going to go through the water? Yeah, son. Forget the path. We'll, we'll swim. Okay, so we want something like uh, we want something like a short uh, like a six six iron or something, I guess. No, nine iron. I mean, we'll go we'll go for the hole, eh? Oh, I mean, uh, putter. Are you joking? What? Yay! No, that's not. No, that still wasn't it. Oh, my word. What? What? Maybe we should slow the game down a little bit. What? Come on! Well, oh, alright. Yeah, good. Yeah, the golf works great in the game. I'm really impressed. <sighs> right, we're losing money. Why are we losing money? Are people finishing the hole? Why is everyone backed up on hole two? By the way, I've just noticed. I feel like we need to flush them all out a little. Uh, close. Let's open it again. Let people start afresh. Idiots. Uh, okay, let's try and do one more. Oh, no, we said we are going to do a little par three here, didn't we? Okay, let's try a little par three. T 
tea. We'll go from here all the way up to, yeah, that sounds about right. 216. Fairway. Um, okay, so let's try and do quite a thin. Okay, that seems thin as hell, right? I'm doing it in two shots up the green. Okay, so we'll stick some bunkers in oh, there. I wonder why there are certain spots we can't do. I, I guess it's because of trees, but that seems silly now to have those. There, so what about here? Yeah, that's more like it. And then bunker there, okay. Uh, Alright, that's it. Yeah, let's go. That's a thin... You can't know that that's wide or whatever. And we're going to do lots of points here. So you have to come up the fairway. Right, that's not even a choice. And then in here, you've got to really chip it into the... Oh, that's going to be tough. So, uh, yeah, that's a good... That's good, I think. I don't know. Is it? Who knows? Path. Let's bring a bit of path down here. There we go. Just to kind of say that's where it is. And then we'll also have the path. Oh, oh god, the path is funky, man. <laughs> there we go. Okay, are you a, are you a golfer there? Have you just had a go? Are you my groundskeeper? I really can't tell from the look of you. See, the people up here now, that's good. Yes, people seem to be moving through the course a little better, but still people are hanging on number one a lot. People still taking turns, are they? Go on. The, one of the big problems is at the moment is it doesn't seem like the sound effects have any sort of uh, uh, sort of area scope on them, so I can just hear balls being hit all over the place, and whether or not people are actually moving on from hole one, I don't know. Uh, still, I mean, I guess this is people playing golf. Yeah, look. What are your thoughts on that one? Have we got a thought on part on hole five? Burger. Hated burger. Alright. Loved hotel. Uh, oh, yay! We hit two stars. That means we can do a members lounge. We, that's, the, that's the one building I was waiting for. I wanted to get done in this uh, little mini series. Members lounge. Build. It's going to go right here. We're going to go. In fact, we're going to. We're going to. I want to get rid of that path first. Sorry, I just didn't realise I put that path there. There we go. Uh, oh, no, that's rain tools. Just yes, thank you. New building. Yeah, members lounge. There we go. Oh, and that there is going to be the entrance, isn't it? Obviously, with a lo lovely uh, thing like that. So, a hit, snow, flat, yes. Gables. Oh, my word. Look at the gabled roof on that. Hipped roof definitely works better. So, let's stick to that. <laughs> um, oh. Oh, my word. Uh, that's weird. That orange doesn't like orange. Green looks good, though. And we'll have a great green, because green's a very golf course colour anyway, isn't it? And it will blend in with the old... Uh, uh, we'll ignore that. That one bit missing there. 
There we go. For now, at least, we will. All right. Double doors, I think. Let's have the entrance like that. That's good. Long windows. Yeah, there we are. And then... Okay. The windows around the back. I'm gonna ignore that a little bit. <laughs> um, where's that little frame awning? Let's put that there. It's quite tricky to get in. And then we'll have. And on the front, where the car park is, I guess. And then when that's built, I believe we can have more members and therefore earn more cash. That's the uh, that's the key point there. Um, right, we have another hole. I, do you know what? I think we're going to leave it there because I just wanted to see that building get in really and see what happened. I okay. So this is obviously very early access, and I think I think sometimes you have to kind of remember what early access can be because sometimes you'll get early access games that are basically a finished game. Um, and then other times you'll get one that are pretty much tech demos. And I think really you've got to kind of remember that no matter what you're paying for early access, you, you know, you've got to kind of take it as it comes. Personally, I've quite enjoyed my couple of hours in this. And, you know, if that's worth eight quid, you know, with bear in mind that means you've got the game then as well when it comes to full release in a year's time or whatever. Um, and you feel like you've done your bit to support an indie developer. That, that's kind of how I feel with these kind of games. Yes, it is a little bit of bare bones. It is a little bit light. It is a little bit rough around the edges. But um, but still, I, you know, I think it's got a little bit of promise. I know other people really don't. I know, um, uh, well, I won't say any names, but I, I was going to do a recording with somebody about this, and they've they turned around and said, nope, don't want to because it's pants. <laughs> uh, but I've actually quite enjoyed myself. I think, um, yeah, a lot more detail. I'd love to see the buildings get a little bit of a rework of how they look, how they work as well. I should be able to click that building and get information about it. Um, that's that's one thing I would really like to see and be able to like tweak prices of burgers and prices of hotel rooms and all that sort of stuff on the fly. Um, I uh, Other than that, I think the actual golf, the actual course building stuff is a lot of it's there. The foundations of it are there. Um, and yeah, I think the graphic style needs to find its way a little bit really sort of figure out what it's doing at the moment we're hemorrhaging cash and you know it's not i haven't really got any idea as to why we're hemorrhaging cash uh memberships you know we're earning memberships oh what we, we should be able to do now is, is is come into uh here and can we accept a load of memberships now i don't know how many we can accept but we can accept all of these it's letting me it's letting me accept them uh, currently capacity, ah no, so that building gives us another, what's that, another 10? There we go, so memberships now are up to 11 grand a month, so that should, you know, really, our maintenance costs a fair bit, look, wow, 50 grand, yeah. Um, so 50 in, 84 out, it's loans, loans are really killing us, can we pay back? Oh, there we go, we've repaid a bit, we were paying... Five grand a month. So we've repaid that to become massively negative now, but at least the outgoings shouldn't be too bad. Uh, restaurant sales, hotel stay. So restaurants and hotels kind of just wee wee money. Uh, landscaping, decoration, construction shouldn't cost us anything if we don't build anything. Yeah, maintenance. We've only got a couple of maintenance personnel, so that should be pretty low. What's cost us so much? Oh, we paid the loan back, right? Interesting. Paying the loan back knocked that number up a little bit. But let's have a look. Let's watch this number. I want to see if it changes a little. But yeah, I mean, lots more info, lots more UI, lots more UX. I think that's the kind of stuff that comes with early access. So I'm, I'm personally looking forward to it. If it has major updates, if it's sort of like in six months' time, it's like, here's the big update. We'll come back to it. If not, we'll probably come and take a look at this on there for release, uh, whenever that may be. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments fancy a chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow if you'd like to join in with the geekism community you can do so on our geekism discord server 
You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you to all of our patrons. They make these videos possible through their generous support at patreon.com slash geekism. And don't forget to check out our affiliate links. You can get this game and many others uh, at a great price, and you'll support the channel at the same time as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.